Hey guys, welcome back to another um, what happened to you for the fortune disc into this thing. Haven't done those in a long time because I promised I was gonna do one for the Wii U. But anyways, um, here's our discs we're gonna put in. The Incredible Hulk 4K Blu-ray. I bought that recently, like a few months ago. The Spider-Man 3 movie collection. I'm gonna put in Spider-Man Homecoming. Cars 3 DVD. Um, the Magenta Show Season 1 DVD. You can check out the actual show on my second channel. Mario Kart Wii. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, see, a DVD R without nothing. With nothing, I meant, sorry. And a CD. Let's go. Okay, so here's our Wii U. This is the 32 gigabyte model that came out back in 2012. It cost $350 back then. Alright, let's turn it on. If you're wondering, do I have the gamepad with me? No, I do not. Now I'm ready to show you the menu. Okay, so I'm on the Wii U menu. Also have my Wii Remote with me, so I'll be able to control it. And also, you're wondering where are these lines coming from. Um, uh, you know, it's just the camera and the refresh rate at 30 FPS or 30 refresh rate, whatever. So it doesn't affect your eyes. I can't even see those eyes. I mean those lines. Sorry. Anyways, let's put it in a disc. Okay, first we're gonna try out a Wii U game to prove this is a Wii U. This is Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. I'm gonna put it the correct way. Okay, so it actually shows up with BB-8 on it. Let's click on it. And you see a Wii U game works on a Wii U, which is obvious because that's actually the console's name. Alright, I'm about to exit out of the game because I don't want to play any copyrighted music. Yeah, Star Wars. Alright, let's try a Wii game next. Okay, so we have Mario Kart for the Wii. Let's insert it in. What do we have in the screen? Oh, Wii menu! This is backwards compatible. Obviously, it has a Wii menu. Alright, hold up. Let's go TV only. Okay, so we're in the Wii menu. Here's Mario Kart Wii. Yep. We use backwards compatible with Wii games. If you guys already watched my stream, which you should have. Let's move on to the next game. Okay, so we have a music CD here. I do not know where I found this. It was actually from my dad's van. Let's enter in, see if we could actually listen to some music in it. Well, you guys are obviously listening to music. Oh, that doesn't sound, does, that does not sound it really good. It has invalid disc. Oops. Didn't meant to do that. And it just gave me an error. Next up, blank DVD-R. Let's see if this could actually replace my computer's DVD drive. Making weird noises. Anything? You depend on me. Invalid disk. So, nope. So this is not a replacement for my computer. Stop that. Next up, we have a DVD movie. This is Cars 3. This movie came out five years ago. It's actually a good one. Some people are complaining that Cruz Ramirez is replacing like McQueen. But I'm actually I'm fine with that. Let's see if we can watch the movies. Even though Netflix is not available on the Wii U anymore. 
Invalid disc. No DVD movies. Alright, let's try a DVD art video. This is the Magenta Show Season 1. I put this into a DVD R. I'm also showing it off to the channel. I also have a second channel with it. It's up to it, by the way. Again. It's making weird noises. I don't like the sound of that. Invalid disc. No DVD movies. Disappointing. Knock it out. Okay, let's try a Blu-ray disc. Alright, we're gonna be putting in Spider-Man Homecoming. Here it is. This is the Blu-ray. There's no DVD with it. Let's see if this could replace my Blu-ray player. So I won't have to, or I won't have to buy a PS5. They're hard to find. Making weird noises. Invalid disc. Nope. It can't replace a PS5 or a Blu-ray player. Alright, here's our last disc. The Incredible Hulk. This is the 4K Ultra HD. Here's the 4K version. Alright, let's insert it in. It's making weird noises. Invalid disc. Well, that's sad. Alright, that concludes what happens if you put a forging disc into a Wii U. Now let's do the bonus test. Let me change the input. Okay, so you guys are wondering what's the bonus for. I actually want to put a 4K Blu-ray into an actual normal Blu-ray player. Alright. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm gonna... Skip this, it's gonna take a million years. Alright, after a minute or 50 seconds, if it says, Can I load this? Please check the disc. So, 4K Blu rays do not work on a normal Blu ray player. How dare you failed on me? I promise I didn't broke it. Alright, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.